Hey guys, this is Nat from Astro FX. Today is Saturday the 27th of May and it's just hit 9 a.m. And what I'm about to do today is go catch up with one of my first ever students. There's Maka. I'm gonna put his Instagram name right here. He completed the course when me and Sean first moved into our first office. And we've always stayed in contact with this guy, always going back and forth. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll see that you know he's always shown support to us. He's always recommended the course and recommended Astro FX and just been a fantastic guy all around. So he actually um, put on his Instagram the other day, he's getting a new car and he's actually getting a BMW. So I said to him, you know, why don't you let me pick you up, let me kind of share the experience with you and take you down. And you know, I asked if you want to take the i8 or the M4. He chose the M4, so I'm about to go pick him up. So I hope you guys enjoy the very short vlog for today. Right here is Maka. This is one of our first ever, it is the first ever student from Astro FX to complete the yeah. course around three years ago. Yeah, man. He dropped me a message the other day and said, Look, he's going to pick up his new car. Yeah. And I said, You know what? I have to be the one to come with you and get it, especially because it's a BMW. Yeah, man. So, yeah, congratulations on the new car. Yeah, bro. And I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. Yeah. Um, obviously, very, very happy to be picking up the new M140i. Right? Brand new 17 plate. Um, the three years for the trade has been, it's been crazy, man. It's been a beautiful journey. Um, I remember stepping into your office, not even knowing what a candlestick was, not even know what forex was, bro. I yeah. thought forex was some um, stocks and shares, to be honest. <laughs> you get me? And then um, I remember I had a gig in Canada. Yeah, in Toronto, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I dropped, I dropped, I dropped the money. I said, yeah, here you go. I remember being on the plane thinking, yo, what have I done? But yeah. I thinking, you know what? I've got to make this work, like. And then um, three years down the line, I've had ups and downs. Started on demo, stayed on that for a while, to be honest. Then I started with a smaller account. And then, um, you know, you make your little mistakes here there. Blew that account, started again. Yeah. And I've just been doing well. And this, the progress has just been slow but steady. I, and think, um, uh, I think one of the things we told you was, you know, take your time, really. Yeah, take your time. Uh, Mac is always a good example I use to a lot of new students, which is a guy that just listened. Yeah, just you listen, know, never man. really went ahead and hopped into like a 10,000 or 20,000 nah, account. Nah, took bro. your time and really worked that demo, didn't you? Yeah, man, just worked that demo, just practiced my strategies, believed in my strategies. So now when it comes to a live account, which I'm on now, I'm confident enough to take it, and if it doesn't go against me, it's like hey, it's just one of those things. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, losing a trade is part of it. It's, it's in the job description. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, like uh, it's been great, and I've just been saving, saving, saving. I said, you know what? I'm turned 30 now. Um, let's just, you know, let's start treating yourself, man. You know what I mean? Like I'm, just, I'm saving my money, but let's just start spending some of this tea. You know what I mean? When you came in, like when it comes to, yeah. you know, you start with a full-time job. Yeah, which is a bit of Supporting the family and your yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah, Had yeah. an ongoing music career. Yeah, yeah, and launching. picked up trading. And picked up trading, yeah. so I was doing a lot. Mm. Um, I had to sacrifice one of those. Obviously, I couldn't sacrifice my family. <laughs> you <laughs> me? Um, my job, obviously, that was helping me invest into trading. So in the music, I took a bit of a back step, but, um, you know, I big got Swift there because that's someone who I work with a lot, and he's just gone from 
level to level to level to levels. Man don't care about all of the um, storms and cold. He's done all of those tunes. You get me? So um, me and Swiss are gonna get back into the studio later this month. Then and um, yeah, the money's coming in now, so now I can start investing into my music career and um, get back and then, you know create a love. I mean, create a, uh, a life that I love. You know what I mean? And that's what trading has helped me do, really. So making that initial decision to invest the money into Astro Effects. Like Nat said, I was the first student, so I couldn't ask nobody. It was like, yo, do I trust these guys or not? You know what I mean? And I met them, and I feel like I'm a good judge of character. When I met Nat and Sean, it was like, these guys seem genuine. And to be honest, they've always kept in touch. They've always hollered me. How many times have you gone for food? There you go. I'm paid for my food. As well, you get me, which, you know what I mean? I'm a, I appreciate them things. There you get me. So it was like, you know what? You see where I come from? Mount. No, people will put you on, you know, but they'll put you on to the wrong things. You see what I'm Everybody saying? Everybody writes for a birthday, remember that? Well, there you go, <laughs> with the playing thing, unfortunately, I couldn't go. But these men have put me on. They put me on to a better, a better life, you see what I'm saying? They put me on to a skill that can create a better life, which is doing now. I'm driving nice cars, you know what I mean? I've got my bank balance, no, you know what I mean? Going into a shop back in the day, I have to check my bank. I don't check the bank. <laughs> man, swiping dip. You get me? Swiping dip. You get me? So life is good right now, and that's why I always. Shout out Astro Effects, yeah. Nat and Sean and that crowd. These yeah. man put me on. I think that's one of the reasons I came because Mac yeah, from like bro. day one, you know, regardless, there's no commissions, there's no nah, nothing. He's nah. just calls me up and goes, Nat, here's like four people that are gonna yeah. come to you guys because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. I'm at Mac are like, hey, let me take some food or something. Yeah. And Mac doesn't even expect nothing, nah. nothing back. And I thought to myself, I have to come to Cube. I don't expect nothing in return, man, from, from, from you or Sean, because like I said, I took a chance on you, you took a chance on me, and I'm glad that. As the first student, I can show you like that. Like, yo, put the work in cars like this and more. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I could have, I, I could have probably spent a bit more and got a bigger <laughs> car and that. But let's just live within your means and keep it real. I've got other life goals as well that I'm trying to achieve. But I've got a nice little toy, yeah. And um, trading is the main reason for it. You know what I mean? So I still get paid off music. I still got my full time job and I still got trading. So it's like three different incomes right now. Life is good. All I can say is, yo, forex isn't easy. But anything worthwhile isn't easy, bro. You just gotta keep working, keep grinding. It's, you know, it will happen for you, man. I swear to God, I didn't know what a candlestick kind of was. Now it's, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? My friend was passionate guys about trading. Yeah, it's a wrap, bro. Anyway, congratulations. Jeez, yo. Have fun. It's a bet, bro. You get me?